Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here and let's resume our 2022 Complete Beginner's Guide in Vintage Story and interestingly, we get to play now with version 1.17 now on the stable release. So all of the content that I have kind of shown a little bit through these guides that was in the pre-release build is now stable and then some. So I'm going to be learning some new techniques and things with you as I experiment with many of the new features that they have added to the game. For example, I believe now, yes, it says here. Let's say I have my shovel. Now I can push control shift, okay, and place my shovel on the ground and lean it up against the wall like that instead of putting it on a tool rack. So you can still have a tool rack to tidily suspend your tools, but you no longer need to build one and use resources if you want to just open up your inventory and clear out some of your stuff. So I think that that is fantastic. Now, as for picking it up, you just need to right click on it when you have it targeted with an empty hand and you're good to go. Our kiln is rocking and rolling. Um, we've got bowls, we've got a cooking pot, we've got a storage vessel, and that looks fantastic. I'm gonna open these up, and I'd probably like to make uh, some more torches if I could, but I'm a little bit light. Oh no, I was gonna say I'm light on grass, but no, I am not. I've got grass, I've got, uh, sticks and can I use the this in here to make them begin lit I always forget how this goes actually I also want to say they tweaked the handbook I saw that so um, you can now see where you can store certain types of blocks in the handbook so I did that's cool um, but yeah, you just have to heat it. You can't pre-craft it lit. And that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and doop-a-doo, doop-a-doo. And I'm going to make like five torches so that I have seven total. And I think I explained this before, but you notice how I picked that up in the offhand because that's awesome. Anyway, um, if you push a torch here, right, and I shift and oops I can't light it in the offhand okay if you put up a torch okay and I'm gonna take this off my offhand put this in my bag and then get this going uh, right here eight and I light it right so that I have like this lit torch in my home the cool thing about that is as long as I break that okay before the next day then it will fall off and it will not lose any durability so as long as you remember to take down your torches okay so like you put it up and then you light it oh well, you don't do that that's that's the wrong thing um, <laughs> you shift right click to light it this torch will stay here and it be lit and provide illumination for us inside, right? That's great. But if we just let it go, eventually it will burn out and then the torch will be useless. But if you knock it down when daytime comes, then put it back in your bag. You'll have a lit torch with full durability and you can replace it as needed. You just have to remember to do that. And I'm always like forgetful about that, but it's a great way to keep your torches and save resources. Now, one thing I thought might be fun is to talk about panning, all right? Um, so, you can pan for ore, okay? And we need a wooden pan. And all we need is a log and a knife to make a pan, right? So, let's see if... Uh, do I have a log anywhere? I do not. All right, so I can't make a pan at the moment. But one day one day we will and we will be able to use this interior water space 
for panning. All right, so for example, let's say I take this bony soil out of my bag, okay, and I'm actually gonna put this in here. And while I'm here, might as well cook this um, red meat. So this rabbit meat that we found, I'm gonna put it on our fire. And the problem with it is it's going to perish really fast if we don't do anything with it. So I might as well um, drop this in here select my torch light this up and you'll see look at that look how it's animated i have a spit with the meat on there and rabbit meat is one of the few types of meats that you can cook on your fire um without a pot you don't i'm not making a stew or anything i'm just making some rabbit meat all right so there you can see that cooking up now i've got my bony soil here oh and you can see the bad guys trying to come in if I were to set this down on this block right there, and then I stood in my water, okay, by dropping in here, I could use my pan and pan this soil for resources, providing I'm standing in the water, and I could pan this um, in slivers, I believe, eight times for each block, something like that, to try to get artifacts, resources, things like that out of this. Now, um, if you're looking for metal, then you don't want uh, bony soil. Bony soil is for some other cool stuff that we could potentially get. But if we're looking for metal, we would need some sand or uh, I'll go show you some dried kind of gravelly stuff. But for now, we're good to go. Now, actually, I'll show you. I'll tell you the exact business of it. So if I go panning for ore, right, you can use sand, gravel, or bony soil. But the gravel that you use has to be dry. It does say that right here. Muddy gravel will not work. All right, so if we have any of that, we can just put it next to our water, stand in the water, and use our pan to get that out. All right, so that's fantastic. Now, I think um, we have... A, a, a storage vessel and we have a bowl going but you know what we need we need a bunch more clay things happening so let's go ahead and shape some clay while it's nighttime I'm going to shift and put this on the ground and here's what I want all right so we are making we already making bowls we're already making a cooking pot um, I think we probably want a crock okay we definitely need a crucible all right. I believe we want um, ingot molds, not yet, but eventually. Uh, let's see. We have a storage vessel going, anvil mold eventually, and then we can start making the molds for some better equipment. So there's a lot of stuff we actually need to oops make with this, but let's start and just begin at the top. And I'm going to make some crocs. Because you can make four at once, I'm just going to do this. Uh, to kind of expedite the process. And crocs are even unfired. Um, I believe we're going to be able to simply set them on the ground so we won't have to worry about storage space, which is beautiful. A lot of this game is storage space, and a lot of my problem early in the game has been um, not picking up everything that I find because my bags are full. Take the extra time, don't be like me, and make sure that you have free space in your bags before you go wandering around so that you can collect everything because just about everything in this game, amazingly, has some kind of resource uh, or value to it. So if you can pick that stuff up, you will be happier in the long run, but that requires empty bags. So uh, the business of... Oops having empty bags will be a best practice that allows you to collect more and more things from the world and save you time. So even though I'm making four of these, I can set these on the ground instead of inside my storage chest, for example, and that will uh, drastically increase our reserves. And now we can just set all of our tools out too. 
So, like, for example, if I'm going to go hunting, I like to have a shovel with me just in case. But what if I don't just to save space, right? Let's duplicate layer. Let's just kind of build these up. Mm-hmm. Duplicate it. Ah, the duplicate layer. So good, right? Oh, yes. Duplicate again. All right. And I'm actually going to duplicate one more time. Uh, because then this means all I have to do is a 3x3 three three, uh, tool on this and then just kind of put it here, 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 and here. And then they need this, so we're just going to go single tool here, 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 and here. And they're done, all right? So we have finished four um, crocs. And by the way, they're also stackable, as you can see, in terms of inventory space. So that's really convenient. Now, my bags are all full. And I just talked about this with you. So, what do I plan on doing tomorrow? I don't really plan on digging, so I can set my shovel. Oop, <laughs> let me get my firewood off here before it burns up. And, uh, here, I need to open this up and put it in here. By the way, this is a Alex power tip that I learned that is just awesome. If you're in a pinch and you need extra storage space, okay, and you're moving around, you can use the crafting grid as storage space as long as you don't close the inventory and crafting screen. So, like, I can close the fire pit, but you see how I'm walking around, and I have that meat just kind of stored in the ethereal crafting grid space, but that's okay. And, oh, look at this. Our storage vessel is done. Speaking of, st of stuff to store, right? Amazing. All right, I'm going to actually put the torch in my offhand just to make space for this meat and I'm going to eat the meat right now you can see it actually gave me good satiety back and my character now has a little bit of protein on the nutrition filled up mostly vegetables and fruits is our diet now I can pick up this storage vessel because it's done firing and I'm going to move it in uh, I'm going to start putting things back here a little bit and now look at this massive container that we have so storage has just become not an issue for us all right so that's just how fantastic this is okay i'm going to put my root in here i'm going to put uh, some extra things that i don't need like my crocs i will put them in here instead of setting them down like i talked about because now i have extra space um, i'm going to put uh, these roots stack them together I don't think I need low fertility soil on me. I can put my obsidian stones over here. And uh, I'll probably need to eat these, some of these berries right now, so I'll do that. Just fill up my satiety bar. Good. And let's just kind of put these back. Now I am going to set my shovel down because I was planning on doing that. So I'm just going to be like, hey, shovel, uh, we'll set you down over here for now. Like that. And that looks good. Now I need logs, so I'm going to keep my axe. All right. I'm going to take my torch off my offhand because it is uh, consuming extra food to be there. It's 1.41 in the morning, so we have time to craft a bunch more clay. Now what I want to craft with clay is like this. We got the crocs done. Let's go ahead and make one crucible. I don't really feel like I need a ton of crucibles. I haven't um, gotten to the point where like I'm like, oh man, I really need a bunch of crucibles. So I'm just going to make one. But I can easily make more if it becomes apparent that that's the case. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Remember to hold Alt to lock the camera in place. Change your tool with F so that you're changing how many blocks you're placing or removing at once. And then now you can duplicate. Oh, this isn't that, though. This has a hole in the middle. That's right. Okay, great. So we finished this, and we can take an empty hand and pick this up and I'm actually just going to kind of uh, put it on the ground if I if it'll let me hmm I wonder why I guess that tool is blocking it unfortunately there we go let's put it back there okay let's make some other stuff with clay 
Uh, I want... Honestly, I probably want more storage vessels. But for the time being, let's just make some tool stuff. So we want a pickaxe mold for sure. And let's go ahead and do this three by three and just kind of set this in. The, remember with the three by three, you hit the middle and then all of the squares around it will get filled in. And you just walk around deep, deep, deep. And my God, right? Now, sometimes I'm gonna, I'm gonna get really lazy with this <laughs> and just duplicate layer. We're gonna have to remove some of this as we go, okay? Um, but it's easier to punch out than to fill in, in my opinion. And then now, I'm just going to punch out the part for the mold. This actually gets built really quickly because you don't need that much. You'll see. You just need this a, a small space for this, right? And it's done. So select an empty hand and pick it up. And these I like to store, you know, wherever. You can store these on the ground. So like, for example, this one, I can just put it right there and just save that for later. Okay, um, we have a pickaxe mold. This is great. Uh, we want a, we want to make a better shovel for sure. Um, we want to make a better axe. Uh-huh. So we're going to go three by three. Actually, I wonder what happens if I duplicate. No, the duplicate won't work because I was cutting stuff out. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to... I'm actually not going to duplicate because... Uh, I'm just gonna go around the edges with this and then kind of clean it up later. Mm -hmm. Single tool, dink, 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 dink. Doot, 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 doot. Perfect. And I can just leave that there and then make another one. I wanna make another storage vessel because uh, I think they're awesome. So we're just going to uh, go all the way around. <laughs> now, eventually, we're going to need a anvil mold and some other items from clay. But for the time being, this is a pretty good start. We just will work on these when we have time during the night. Remember, you don't need, at least as of now, you don't need to sleep in this game. So... Oh god. Mistakes are being made everywhere. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, get that out. And then now we can duplicate. Add these layers. Repeat the process. Build up the sides. Give us more space. The more space, the better. Fantastic. This is how this holds 12. Look how deep this thing is. All right, now we have to kind of change our game plan. Oh, did I run out of clay? I did. All right, let's get some more clay. We'll have to go gather more clay. Luckily, we've marked it on the map, and it's super easy to gather. Duplicate that layer. Done. Sweet. Okay. What time is it? 
about 5 a.m. All right. Oh, look at this. We're done with our cook pot. Okay. And we're done with the bowls. All right. Now check this out. We're going to go over to our fire. Okay. And we put the cook pot on the fire. And now we right click. And you'll see that when you put the cook pot on the fire, the graphic reflects that it's sitting there. And then now the cook pot opens up with four ingredient jars or containers. And then... You put your fire, your firewood here, and a progress bar, and you can get to all the recipes just by looking at this and pushing H, you know, um, on your cook bar, right? No, it actually, that, that doesn't work. Uh, but you can just push H and just go to cooking and um, raw cooking pot, and it will tell you, you know, okay, this is how you make it, and it fires into this, but if you go to guides and you go to meal making, it gives you the tip about how to make stuff and you need two to four ingredients and there's a bunch of recipes here like meat stew vegetable stew um, porridge soup scrambled eggs awesome stuff right now for us we're going to be making meat products for now until we start growing vegetables and you can mix like um, berries and things in with them or any raw vegetables that you find okay so this is going to be what we use when we start hunting. All right. Now I'm going to take my um, storage vessel and I'm going to put it in there so that we can make a kiln. And then we're also going to uh, pick up our crocs and um, put them in here to fire. Well, no, let's do three crocs, I guess. And one crucible. Get a good collection. Alright. And then now, all we need to do is start throwing in the grass. Uh-huh. Just right-click that. Right-click that get our sticks. We probably don't have enough sticks to fire these, but we'll start it up. Mm-hmm. Okay, we did. All right, great. And we just will start this up. So, luckily, our crucible and our crocs are getting cooked. Now, the crocs are perfect for once we start making stew... We can put the stew in the crock, and it will keep for a long time and give us food for later. All right, break up these grass pieces. We're going to have to replace our floor at some point with, like, wood or something else so we don't keep having grass and things growing in here. It's just a little bit unwieldy. And it is now 629, uh, so I feel good about going outside. But before we do, let's empty our bags. Let's see what we need to take with us, right? So I don't need firewood. And I don't need uh, these bowls. I'm going to put grass away. And I'm going to put my raw crock away. I'm going to put my clay away. My fire starter can go away. My cattails can go away for now. Uh, flint, I shouldn't need it at the moment. All right. My unlit torches, I don't want them at the moment. And these I will just eat. So I'm making as much space as I can. I'm going to break my torches off the wall. And you'll see they stack into my lit torches pile. And now I'm going to eat. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to, to sleep. Okay, uh, I jumped into my bed. I was trying to right click on my food and eat it. Okay, there we go. And now we're, we're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to just break this away with... Uh, my hands. It's going to take a second, but this way I won't have to worry about carrying my shovel. All right, beautiful. Now, see, there's a bad guy over there. He's leaving. He's kind of uh, going away as they shamble off during the daytime. All right. So let's see if our apple tree has made anything for us. Um, nope. Not yet, anyway, or we have to break its branch, but I don't want to do that. Okay. 
So what are we up to right now? We are going to try to hunt, if possible, and we need wood. So we'll just go where we know the trees are, over here, and start gathering some resources. Also, we did find another ruin that we can explore and see if there's anything good for us inside. <laughs> oh, there's my map right there. What is this? Peat. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. So here's some of the ruins sticking up, and then here's even more from down here, right? So let's just kind of um, look around here with this cobblestone, and I want as much cobblestone as I can get anyway, because... I want to, like I was just talking about, I want to expand my home, I want to make my floor, you know, nice. And this kind of cobblestone, you'll see that uh, it doesn't, you don't need a tool to do this. What is this? This is basalt, okay. And I'm not really doing anything fancy here. I'm just looking for any kind of cool basement feature. This is a slab. Most specifically, or more specifically, a, a vessel that might contain uh, some seeds or some tools or something. So the best place to look for that is probably right here at this whatever is knocking out the top. This is some upside down stairs, so we can put some steps down if we get these. The game loves to use stairs in creative ways to make different shapes, like by rotating them. And indeed, you can already see that there's a vessel right there. Look. Something is in here. So let's see. It's a farming vessel. And what did it have in it? Let's open up our bags and look. It had cabbage seeds, some feathers, and a ton of cattails. So cabbage seeds are quite good for us to farm with. But that's going to require us to start setting up a farming operation. Which is not the easiest operation to get going, but it's something that we do need to do at some point. So, speaking of that, we're going to need wood for that. We're going to need sticks. We're going to need to be uh, building fences to keep out bunnies and... Ooh, here's a bunch of obsidian. Uh, did I mark this on my map? I didn't. Alright, so I'm just going to mark this and say um, obsidian like that. And I'll put like a little mining thing here. So later we might be able to come down here and dig down and, and find more. Uh, which is great because it, it makes uh, pretty good tools for us. And by good tools I mean way better tools. Oh! Basalt sand. Interesting. Okay. Alright. I'm going to switch over to my axe. Oh, look at this. Copper. Holy smokes, everybody. We hit the mother load. Or a mother load. So we're going to just label this copper. This is beautiful. This is what we're going to spend so much time trying to gather eventually. So we'll take what's on the, the surface here. And then we'll dig down. But we're going to need a pick to get it. Uh, so this is why... Uh, we are in the business of making our molds. Sticks. Just loose sticks. Joyous occasion. All right, we're going to chop down this maple tree. And just let the spoils rain down upon us. Mercifully, we aren't killed. Alright, so we got a bunch of logs and some sticks. Not as much as I would dream of, but a decent start. There's a stick. Alright. Timber. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we're getting there. So luckily for us, we have a great place to get trees nearby. 
We have clay nearby. We have peat. We found a little bit of copper. We have reeds. And our berry bushes should be flowering either today or soon. And we have medium fertility soil so that we can start plotting out a garden. And what is this? A uh, horsetail. Mm, okay. Take it. And we'll take all this wood. And look, our inventory is full, right? No, it's not. Because um, I'm just going to put this over here. We're going to use the inventory expansion trick and carry even more than we should be able to and go back and just deposit all of this wood. All right. And, oh, there's an animal right there. It is... Is that a goat? Is that a dog? What is that thing? All right, we're going to sneak, try to sneak up on it. I'm going to select my spear. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a little baby goat. I'm going to right hold down um, the right mouse button, and you'll see, like, I have a targeting reticule. Okay? And you want to aim for it, but there's gravity, so... Oh, God, that wasn't even close. Okay, we hit it. And I think we got it. Looks like we did. Let's go check this out. All right, we'll pick up all of our spears, hopefully. And it's a lamb. All right, so we killed a lamb, which is... I don't feel great about that, but that's what happened. All right, we're going to use our knife, and we're going to... Hold shift and right click to harvest. And we just got a little bit of meat, unfortunately. So this thing is so small that it doesn't really give us that much. Oops, and then, of course, I closed it uh, to destroy everything that I had picked up. But we'll get it back. All right. Okay. Now, growing around here, you see that there's a bunch of these horsetails. And that's fine. I'm going to chop down some more trees. We're just going to make this a, like a big lumber run for us to get started on that front. We always need firewood, even though we do have peat, but we need it for crafting as well. Make our panning instrument, and just get this locked in. Alright, here it comes. Okay, and we'll just kind of put this over here. Uh, the basalt stone, I'm actually just going to throw. I don't want it. Okay, wait. Basalt stone, get out of here. Okay, I can pick these up. Alright, basalt stone, you're out. There we go. There we go. Just sit over there. And let's see. This is a cinnamon fern. Horsetail. I'd like to just go around and see, you know, what everything is. Here's sticks. Fantastic. Okay, it's really coming down. This is maple. By the way, different types of lumber stack differently. So I always try to cut down the same kind of tree to help with my stacking of the lumber. And another thing, another little tip about this would be... If you want a particular color for what you're building, you know, each wood has a different kind of color to it. So you can try to target that. Now, I'm going to... I don't need this uh, soil. So I'm just going to kind of... Um, oh, boy. Uh, oh, you drop what's in your hand. That's right. I was pushing Q, but it's not what you have held and selected like that. It's just what's in your hand. Okay. So good. And let's just look around. Let's get up high and take a gander. There is some more obsidian, it looks like, down here. Indeed. And then this is pine, right? Which would be different for us. Some sticks. I'm going to chop down another one.
All right, and just get all of this Wumba. Sweet. Oh, what is that? Is that just a graphic on... It's a leaking pine log with resin. Cool. All right, so I'm going to mark that on the map. And I'm going to say, you know, uh, pine log with resin and obsidian. Because there's two things here, right? So I'm just going to mark that like that. Oh, God. And I did that again. All right. Eventually, I'll stop doing that. But it's not too bad to just pick everything back up. Okay. Basalt, basalt, flint. doop a doop a doop Forest floor, sticks. Can't have enough sticks. All right, let's go back. But yeah, man, there's just obsidian all over this map. It's pretty crazy. It's very nice for us. I'll make an obsidian axe after I break this one. I'm going to scope out a little bit. Just see if I find any more copper. Just kind of chilling. And, okay, there's a twisting void over there. So if you see one of those... Um, terrifying entities, just don't uh, go near it and then get into it and stop. Don't stop inside of it and you should be okay okay um but if you're really adventurous and you want to see what happens go for it i'm not going to spoil anything i'm just going to say i have warned you all right and let's look around let's look around there's another one oh bush cranberries get the bush itself uh fantastic let's try to pick it up Okay. Take a cranberry bush, sure. Oh, here's a big ram. Oh. Is it dead? No. Should be dead now. Man. It... It zigged. And zagged. Hopefully we can get it. Ooh, there's some copper over here, though. Oh. Oh. It's dead. And this is copper. So we... I don't want to go near that and stop, but I'm going to stay right here. And I'm going to mark this again as copper. And make it orange and say save. Sweet. So we got... Actually ended up with two copper spit... Uh, places and we have a ram that we have taken out so we can go check that out for resources too uh, let's make sure we get all of our spears because these are some valuable ones we'll use our knife and we're gonna um, harvest this big horn ram and look what he gives a whole bunch of good stuff okay so fat hide and a bunch of meat which is delightful and some bones we'll take that too we'll just close this okay so we've marked um the copper and let's go home we we are just completely overloaded and there's a cave down here too look at this uh so let's mark this cave let's just kind of see what we can locate what is the material it's basalt down there so i'm going to just say hey right here uh there is a cave Okay. And I've marked some other caves over there. Alright. And let's head home. Steering clear of the swirlies. Alright. Do do do. I mean, I just love the wind blowing in this game. And the particles flying through the air, the rain. Such a cool atmosphere. Now, we can eventually, um, once we mine out the ruin, we'll start to be able to replace the complete roof of our house. Let's see if any of these berry bushes are ready. Um, one day, weather permitting. Okay, they're almost there. I'm going to go inside my house. 
we can also make our door, which is beyond fantastic. And we're going to open up some of this, and we need to just start putting in, you know, what we can. All of this wood, for example. Uh, the basalt stone we just don't need, but we can stack that on top. Okay. Cranberries um, we can take out and stack. The copper we're going to put away temporarily. The wood we can put away. Man, we have a bunch of stuff we can do cool things with. All right. Um, the fat needs to go away. And this meat we can stack up. The hide, we're going to need to do some stuff with that uh, to make leather working possible. And the bowl we can actually set down. So I'll put it like this. Um, medium fertility soil we're going to store for later. We have a cobblestone, so I'm going to put that together. Um, do we have any slabs going? We do, and we have some staircases going here. Fantastic. Uh, so now I can take this bowl and put it down. I can put these cattails on there. Uh, getting better, but you can see, even now, like our storage is, is pressed to the limits, right? Now I'm going to set this bowl down over here. Now watch this. We're going to open this, and let's do some cooking. So we got all this red, red meat, all right? So what you want to do when you cook is you want to... You need to make these stacks even, okay? So we're going to put two and two like this, and it says it will create two servings of red meat stew, but we can actually go like this, four servings of red meat stew, so four and four, and then what I'm going to do is put berries like this um oh but i have to uh, actually do this there they all have to be the same number so this will create four servings of red meat stew with boiled cranberries okay so this is going to be like a really good meal for us so now all we need to do is just get our firewood mm -hmm. where do i put that over here heck yeah and i'm going to throw this down there and then use my torch and light this up and we're gonna have a meal cooking and you can see it's heating up and it's gonna go and we're about to get some stew and we have to put our stew okay in bowls or we're gonna be able to put it into our crock when it's done all right uh, we need sticks for this so let's go ahead and start firing this storage container so we can uh... oh oh god I was pushing the wrong button so we can um, let's make some firewood. We need more space. I mean, pretty obviously, we need more space. Stack that around. There we go. Light it up. Terrific. I've hurt myself on my own fire, which is, like I said, pretty much par for the course. And we're going to stack up our firewood like this. For now keep some space free. Look at this. We've got firewood. We've got peat. We've got tools. Everything's going great. <laughs> let's have some fun and let's make a door. Um, I think a door is something like this, but I can't exactly remember. So I'm just going to push H and I'm going to say crude. Well, not all caps like that. How about this? Uh, crude door. All right, door. Oh, it has to go in everything. Right, right, right. Uh, rough wooden door. Oh, okay. I have it. I have it the wrong way. So you need the sticks down here. You need this here, and we need an axe, like right there. And we can make a door like this. I'm just gonna push escape, and we're gonna put the door right here. And lo and behold, we have a door to our house. So people, we are cooking another storage vessel. We're making three crocs and a crucible. We're making our stew. We busted out a bunch of awesome clay stuff. It is actually only like 5 p.m., so we have more that we can do. We've set our shovel on the ground. We chopped a bunch of lumber. We are doing beautifully, except we're getting a bit peckish, so we're going to have to eat some roots, unfortunately. I'm going to have to cook uh, some roots, but that is okay. We will deal with that. And... Wait a minute. No, we won't, because look, our food is already done. The pot of cooked food. Look, all I have to do is 
pick up a ball and right click on this. Um, oh, no, I have to take this out. That's right. I got to take it out of the fire and then we're going to set this down. Okay. And we'll set it back here. Now watch this. I can, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I swear I can. Um, oh, this is a raw bowl. Whoops, whoops, whoops. This is not a bowl that I can use. That's right. I was like, why won't this work? Because this bowl has not been fired. Okay, let's use the actual bowls that we can use. And then if I right-click on it, you'll see that I just made three bowls of stew. And there's still one serving left. Now watch my satiety bar. I'm going to right-click. And boom, you see how much it jumped up? Look at my nutrition. We are rolling. I'm going to fill up the last one here. But I'm going to say, you know what? I want this in a crock and we'll have to do that later because we don't have a crock but watch this you see in the bowl I'm going to set these down even though it's in the bowl okay it's going to keep for um, it's perishable right but this bowl with the meal uh, should keep for some time by the time we're ready with the croc, uh, we're going to be able to... Oh, did my door burn down? It might have caught on fire, actually. I might have put it too close to this pit kiln. <laughs> I might have had door door fire. All right, let's, let's just forget that the door fire happened, and let's put it one square outside. Okay, let's put the door out here. On the outside... And hopefully it doesn't catch on. It looks like it's catching on fire. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop that from happening. <laughs> okay, here's what we have to do. The pit kiln is in the way. Let me just open this, and we will put a food in there, right? And you can see that it's perishable, but it doesn't tell me how long it's gonna take to expire. So maybe it's because it's really hot, and so that's not being displayed at the moment. It's gonna go like this, like this. And then now I can put a door on our base and it won't catch on fire. And we have a door. You can right click on the door, but as the crude door does, it has a huge percentage chance, like 30% or something, to just break off its hinges. But it's good enough for us and it will keep bad guys out. Awesome. All right, everybody. I think this is a great place uh, to end the episode. We are doing, uh, let's not put that there. We're doing so well. I feel uh, very good about our house. We need to make it bigger. It's getting cramped in here, but we've got the means to do so, and we're about to really, really start getting more sustainable. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you next time. Take care.